Some news that we're very excited about is the new Chevy Bolt has been announced, the new but also old Chevy Bolt. Tell us about that. You know, what's what's important about that new model? Why bring it back? And one thing that we've been thinking about is, you know, will this be profitable from the start for GM? Yeah, great, great set of questions there. Um, let's start with, you know, what it is, what the new one is here. And, and it's really been a great formula. And I, I don't know. Uh, if you guys look at look at forums, but the Bolt forum was one of the very best, is one of the very best. So we paid a lot of attention in that forum to what people liked and what they wanted to improve on the car. So we had one of the most clear voices of customers, you know, that we could get input from as we refreshed the car. So we did go out of production because we had a whole set of plant allocations and products across the company, and it was a chain. And so we knew this was, um, you know, going to go out of, of, of production for a little bit and, and it did never, never fun, but that's why when we brought it back, we wanted to, uh, again, focus on what customers wanted. Uh, you know, a lot of it is charging speed. You know, we're going to mm. get up to, um, it was capped at 50, um, kilowatts. Um, we're, we're at 150 on this one. So I think people will really be excited, uh, being able to go from, you know, 10 to, 80% in about 26 minutes. That That's pretty cool. Uh, so that'll be fun um, I, and, and very important for a lot of people. And then, um, you know, we're getting a, a 65 kilowatt LFP pack on it. So the cost um, is is much less than what we were doing before. You know, th those were, um, it's a long time ago that we've, we've had the car for a while. So a lot, lots changed chemistry wise, technology wise, manufacturing wise, all that's changed. Um, that's, that's good. And, you know, we've got another, 10 miles um, of, of range at 255, which is really important for our customers too. And um, and then we've got a little more horsepower, like 10 more horsepower out of it. So that, that's, we use the, the front uh, motor out of the um, Equinox. Uh, so we got to get a little more, a little more power, a little more range, a lot faster charging and some really good things, I think, um, from a styling and design standpoint, particularly in the interior. Yeah. Um, the form factor is the same. Uh, we we know people, um, and, and I, I'm one of those people that, um, driving the car, I might hit my head on the hatch because of the uh, uh, because of the shape, shape, rear shape of that hatch. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one there. That's yeah, good. no, no, I've I've done it. I've done it. It's not fun. It's like yeah, it's like hitting your head on a garage door as it's closing or something. I don't know. It's bad. So uh, not not great. But anyway, um, that that's a really good improvement on it as well. And the you know I think the design is is a nice refresh and a nice really nice user interface change inside the car as well. Still have mechanical, physical knobs, which is really important, mixed with the software. So I think people will enjoy that too. And yeah, so I think it's a, it's a, it'll be a really fun, fun thing for people to get back into. This is an interesting car to me because it integrates so much new hardware and technology and batteries and, and software, but also retains, you know, a lot of the form factor and and, and components from the original bolt, like like it's it's not like a hundred percent a clean sheet design, right? But it is a lot of new stuff. So like that's yeah. that's kind of unusual in the car world. It feels like how did you guys was how was that a challenge for your engineers or was it easier in some ways? Well, we've been working on it for a little while. Um, you know, again, planned production stoppage and then restart and, and tool shift gives you an opportunity to do some of that, Patrick, as you might know. So uh, we took advantage of that and. Uh, and really listen listen to the people who who love the the car and driven the car, but also we have a lot of competitors. You might you might see this if you benchmark packages, and I'm talking about vehicle package, you know, in the front and rear and form factor and how efficient they are. The the bolt stands out, and we see mm -hmm. people trying to copy it because it's a smaller car to drive, but it feels like a really good capable vehicle that that holds both people and and you know it has some utility to it without being a big squared off um suv yeah so it's uh, it's kind of cool right yeah and, and it is benchmarked yeah, and so That's you've awesome. also mentioned in the past a family of bolts that will be coming you know to the extent you can what what should we expect from that you know is that smaller and cheaper than what we've seen today is it bigger more expensive is it a completely different form factor that's not bolt like at all in the way that we'd expect that's a great question because it'll be what comes after this whether it's um called a bolt or not will be a family of things that is um low priced mm. and so th that's good news for everybody and um you know when i say family they won't be adopted they'll be in the same vein of uh, size and price so but i think i think it's another um, opportunity for us to look at you know battery chemistry and form in a different um architecture underneath that can be more efficient, even more efficient and 
and get people even more car for the money. But I also think that um, there's some some white spaces in, in size, class of forms, not only the bolt that, that we just introduced, but also some different things for different people's styled tastes. So when you're, when, when you're that. talking about uh, this family, like a, a price range is, do you have anything in mind or can you say, or? Um, well, this one, you know, is at twenty nine nine ninety nine now, <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah. which, is, which is probably the cheapest one out there right now. Yeah. Um, I think, but, but uh, it, it's around that price point, uh, plus or minus. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And so where do you think those white spaces are then in terms of the size and class? Well, you're trying to ask me what the cars are going to be. And I can't talk. To you. Oh, yeah. Got to try. Got to try. Know, I know. I know. I get it. I, I just can't. I can't. You know, it's a competitive business. So I would love to talk about that all day, but I just can't can't give all that away. We, we get it. And, and we appreciate 